Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm gonna show you how I take my photos. I like to take photos and I take photos of myself pretty often because I don't have a photographer on hand all the time and that and also it's just easier for me to pose for myself instead of a photographer. That took me a really long time to get comfortable in front of a camera just on my own, let alone with somebody else behind it. And I also get a lot of questions on how I take my photos of myself. And if you are a Sorella Amore fan, my advanced selfies, if you will, she is a much bigger YouTuber and she ha has coined this term, the advanced selfie, where you basically take a selfie, you're taking a photo of yourself. It's just a fancy self-portrait, basically. But I have been taking my own photos for quite some time. They were not always good because I had to learn by trial and error. So hopefully this video can help you pass a lot of the mistakes and a lot of the things that I didn't do very well to start out with and took me years to learn. I got inspired to make this video because of my sponsor, Anna Luisa, but we'll get to them in a second. One of the things I want to talk about before we get started is the intro. You saw how aesthetic it was and like how pretty and the lighting was nice and blah 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 and then when I zoomed out it was just like this paper basically of a backdrop and a bunch of things kind of cluttered onto it and the illusion is shattered and that's kind of how you have to see your photo when you see it in your head like if you have this idea think about what you want the lens to see and what you want the audience to see rather than what you see because you'll get distracted by everything else around you and then you won't you won't be able to produce the photo or something similar to what you wanted it's, it's more of telling a story or um, setting a scene or making a mood that you want to make. I'm gonna try to walk you through the best that I can and talk about how I go through the process of taking my own photos. So onto the sponsor, Ana Luisa. The reason that it ignited this inspiration, I guess, is because the pieces that they sent me reminded me kind of of like a, like a Hollywood noir, like old film type of thing. I don't know, they're, they're very, subtle and classy and they're not super loud pieces they're very very subtle so i'm wearing uh one like the pair one pair one what one pair of the earrings um if you don't know anna luisa i've been sponsored by them before they're one of the best companies i've ever worked with they treat me really well as a partner but also their products are phenomenal. They use 100% recycled gold, but they're really good quality. They come from the same jewelers as Louis Vuitton and what's the other one? What's the other big brand? Tiffany's. Tiffany's. <laughs> they come from the same jewelers, Louis Vuitton and Tiffany's. Um, so they're good quality and they're also like way cheaper. I thought it would be fun to do kind of like a at home, um, like, old film type of vibe shoot. I don't know, uh, we'll figure it out. I kind of have an idea. I'm gonna try to walk you through my thought process. I am going to put on some makeup and pick out what I'm wearing and then figure out what the hell I'm gonna use as a backdrop. Luckily the backdrop doesn't really matter a ton in this case because I really wanna showcase the pieces so they're going to be very up close uh, photos but we will, we'll all figure something out. So let me get ready and then I'll try to walk you through the rest of my process. Okay, so I did, did my makeup. <laughs> um, tip number one for anybody who wants to take photos of themselves, natural lighting is always going to be your friend. Natural lighting always. Right now my window is on this side of me, obviously, natural lighting. And uh, I think I'm gonna use this as my backdrop. I'm just gonna take down this art piece that I have. And I think my little brother just made an ostrich sound. Outfits, uh, I've got a couple ideas here. I mean, maybe like, I think I'm gonna put on some lipstick for one of them, uh, but we'll see. So this dress, I think I got off of Amazon. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, so it's just this like red button up dress, but I am going to probably unbutton the first one and fold it in so that it's like a sweetheart shaped. 
and then it kind of uh, accentuates the <laughs> the the neckline more so that we can focus on the necklace and like the um, the collarbones. Then I have a scarf, and I think you know I'll probably just like wrap this around as if it looks to make it look like it's like one of those over the shoulder very elegant dresses when in reality I'm just gonna be wearing a scarf and it's gonna look and like shorts so I'll show you the behind the scenes it's gonna be really uncomfortable but then also the the photos are gonna look amazing so keeping that in mind from the beginning how it's very aesthetic in frame but then when you zoom out and you see everything it's not as aesthetic, so that'll be fun to show you. I'm gonna try to dress it up and also dress it down. Um, so first without lipstick, I'm gonna do some of these outfits and then I might change into like just a leather jacket, like a white tank top. It's always better to take a thousand really terrible photos and then get one really, really good photo out of all of it compared to taking 15 okay photos and having to choose photos that you choose from photos that you aren't ridiculously happy with. So, you know, and, and you know, you're alone, right? So you can take as many photos as you want and pose however you want and be uncomfortable and strange and weird and try things that might not work at all. I have had some very cringy, cringy ideas. Let's get to it. Uh, let me find my other camera and set it up and we'll get started and you can watch me be ridiculously uncomfortable. <laughs> Luckily my camera connects to this app. I used to just do a timer and run back and forth, but most cameras connect to apps these days, which is really nice. And also if you're using your phone, you should be able to do selfie mode um, as well. Even though the back camera does have a better, a better look, you can always set it up with like a mirror behind it. I've done that as well, where you use the back camera of your phone and the mirror is here and you kind of just like position yourself how you think. Um, Okay, I'm gonna connect to my camera. Um, first outfit, I think I'm gonna try this one. I'm going to put on different earrings and the necklace, and then just get into the rhythm. It takes a little bit for me to get into the rhythm, so at first they're gonna be just like kind of regular awkward shots, and then they usually kind of flow into it, so we'll see, we'll see. It's all experimentation, yeah? I have this even on. If I can. So, oh, phone would be helpful. Here we go. Oh, I can zoom this in a lot. Yes. So, because the sun is this way, I'm going to. Oop, don't do that. There we go. So, because the sun is this way, I'm gonna be facing this way mostly. And if we just, that's, oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Okay. Test shot there. That's not. That's not half bad. Screw that. Oh, that. That was. Unfortunate. I did not like that one. <laughs> that one's okay. Um, one of the things I'm trying to do is play with where my eyes look, right? Because some of them are down, right? And I'm looking. Because there's a difference between here and here and here. Right? I mean, obviously, but it, it does change a lot of it. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to be taking a fuck ton.
let's do the red. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to fold this. It's, I just pulled it down, I didn't even take it off. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold this in like that so that it's like a sweetheart neckline. Like so, and then I think I might add, yeah, I wanna add red lipstick. This is Smashbox. I think it's called Disorderly. Here. Um, I like Smashbox. And then for the photo, I was thinking maybe I could like pose with a lipstick tube, like as if I'm putting it on. Um, but because this is not to theme, I grabbed some other lipsticks that I don't actually use all that often anymore. So I might use this one or this thing that I got from like one of those birthday things from Ulta. Uh, it's a Marc Jacobs. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. That's fitting, but this one's smaller, so it's it might be easier to get into frame. So we'll try it, we'll see. Let me slap on this lipstick real quick and we will get started. Okay, I'm shooting. There we go, we're back in business. Okay, so now that we have that going, Focus on my face. Right. Turn it out a little bit. Perfect. Fix this. Oh yeah, that looks kind of like Hollywood. Yeah, that looks yeah, that looks Hollywood. Totally. Ooh, you know what? I need some of like the hair in the face. Like, uh, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do this with two hands though. I guess I can set my timer, but like I don't know. There's a lot to fit in here though. It's upside down. That's fine, there's no brand. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm setting a timer because this looks really cute. So we'll see. That's kind of cute. I kind of dig that. Okay. Got? Okay. Well, it didn't focus on me, but you know, that's, that's fine. We'll do it again. Bro. I'm like, it's like Jessica Rabbit. I like it, okay. Oh my god, it's like Jessica Rabbit. I love it. I'm here for it. I like red now. I mean, I like red. I want to like put my hand. Yeah, ooh, nice. <laughs> All right, let's fix this a little bit and then. Oh god, I thought, I'm gonna, a second. my camera battery kind of died there, when is it not dying? So with the leather jacket, I think I wanted to, oh I need to change my earrings, I'm gonna do it, bro, damn.
Okay, I think that's plenty. I have to I have to get ready. I have to eat, get ready for class. But um so it's basically the same poses, it's just head up or shoulders up, same poses, different character mindset, different um vibe mindset. So that is kind of the go through. Okay, so I just, um, I put all of the raw photos into my computer. I personally use Lightroom, Adobe, Adobe Lightroom to edit things. I don't really have like a set way that I edit things. I just kind of mess around with the settings. And once you mess around with them enough, you know which things do what, but I don't have like a set look that I usually go for every single time. So like I said, with these ones, I'm going for more of like a noir kind of um, like classic type of feeling rather than something else. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. And if I need help, I'll usually YouTube something. Um, but yeah, there's no like set way that I edit or any specific guidelines that I follow. As for apps, I personally like to use Snapseed. I use Snapseed. I also use something called LD. Um, it's called Lens Distortions, and that one, I, I don't know if you have to pay for any of these because I've had these apps for a while, but both of them work pretty well. Snapseed is good as like a general overall. It's pretty popular, so I'm, I'd be surprised if you haven't heard of Snapseed yet. Um, and that one is just good for a general overall editing. You can edit uh, a lot of different, very foundational things about your photo. LD, the lens distortions, that one has a both free and paid version of it. So hopefully you don't have to pay for it when you download it, but it gives you like some different filters that you can put on there and adjust that. Um, it gives you like little light hits that you can add to your photo to give it a better feel. So say like you're out in a park or something or like a field and you wanna add like a sunlight beam or something, you can add that in this app. Um, so it's pretty cool and it's just fun to mess around with. I told Nike about it and they really liked it. And the last one I, I use all the time in my phone, if I just need like a really quick touch up, is called Retouch. And Retouch is, um, Retouch is this app that you can just really easily get rid of anything that doesn't really fit. So say for example, that little clip that I have in my photo, I don't think, I mean, I'll probably crop that out when it goes into Instagram, but say it was in my frame and I wanted it, and say it was in, say that clip was in my frame, but I didn't want it in there. I can use retouch and I just scribble over it and it uses um, space awareness, space awareness or spatial awareness, I suppose. It's kind of like Photoshop and just kind of like, and just erases it. It works generally pretty well depending on what you're doing. It has its limits, but just for a really quick cleanup, it's always good. Um, same thing with like little lines. So if there's lines in your photo that you don't like, such as, you know, power lines going through your photo in the sky, it's really easy to get rid of those things with this app. But I'm gonna post those. That's just a very general rundown of how I take my own photos. But that is pretty much it. I hope that this kind of helped and answered some questions. Thanks for watching, and as always, best of luck. Be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.